Hello, and welcome to Film Slam Stream's post-film conversation for the bride piece. My name is Eric Seiler, and I'm professor of film, media arts, and communications, as well as moderator for this conversation. We are very pleased to be joined by the director of the bride piece, Anya Belahan. Anya Belahan is joining us from Moscow. Hello, Anya, and welcome. Hi. Well, I'm so glad that you can join us today to um, talk about this um, interesting and important film. And um, can you just tell us a little bit about your inspiration for this film? Is this actually based on a true story? No, it's not based on a true story. And when I got inspired by seeing so many times that um, in my personal life or in my friends, how um, there is always someone on the side who affects the friendships. So I decided to show it without being like too feministic and be like, oh, it's always man. I tried to like show it like subtle way. I don't know if I achieved it, but I tried to show how there's always a third person who tries to break the friendship and be between <laughs> two people. Right, it, it, exactly. So yeah, you did that uh, quite well, um, showing the dynamics between um, um, uh, Anya and Christina and Andre, uh, that was uh, well done. Now, in terms of, let's talk a little bit about the production first of it. Um, the cast, did you know um, the um, main characters, Anya, Christina, and Andre, um, before you um, actually made the film? No, no, I, I cast all of them. They're all amazing. I'm so thankful that I found those uh, like really talented actors. They're great. Right, they, they were, they had really good chemistry. You, you actually believed that they were, you know, <laughs> um, were friends and, you know, they were about to get married and so forth. Uh, the location, um, location is an apartment building. Is that your apartment building or did you have to rent out a, a place to make that work? No, it's, it's actually my apartment. And I was writing the script with having this specific apartment in mind. I was in America when I was writing the script and I missed my apartment in Russia so much. And I was like thinking about it all the time and I started writing the script with this apartment in my mind. Oh, a set just, you know, so you wrote the script in, in America and you went over to, um, went back home to Russia to film this. How long did it take for you to actually um, film um, this film? Oh, it only took two days to film it. Two days, okay, that's not bad. And what about the entire process, um, editing? Um, how, how long did it take to edit, to complete it? To edit, it, it took a while. <laughs> yeah. It, it took us almost a year because we need to, fix some sound issues that we faced. So it was a long editing process. Yeah, that's, that's natural. Uh, yes, I, I've known um, filmmakers who work years on short films. So um, a year isn't too um, um, bad at, at all. And one thing I, I noticed in the film was um, you had a nice combination of handheld and stationary shots. Can you talk a little bit uh, about that? Why you decided to go handheld and stationary at various times? Yeah, so handheld was mostly when the Andre, the, the groom is in the <clears throat> shot to show how fishy he is and the stable shots are mostly on when Anya um, the bridesmaid is talking to uh, the bride to like show the difference between two of these people and to personalities how pure the bride is and how yeah as I said fishy the groom is so it's like two opposites Right. <clears throat> well, well, very good. That was all nicely planned and it, it worked out um, really, um, really well uh, with that. Uh, let's get into the content a little bit more. Domestic um, uh, relationships and, you know, even, you know, mild violence isn't really acceptable. I mean, um, just worldwide. Uh, well, well, why do you think um, uh, Oh, uh, Christina decided to uh, marry um, Andre in the end. Well, I think it's because um, 
in in Russia, it's um, especially for like older people. It's really important to get married, like when you're in your early twenties. And I think all this like pressure for Christina that she's pregnant and she's like in her early twenties and she's not gonna get married. She'll feel all this pressure from the society. And I wanted to show how this pressure affects women to make a decision to marry someone they don't they don't really feel like comfortable marrying but they end up marrying because of the society and all these norms that affects them all right that's 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 interesting to know and um in in, in terms of um the friend um um uh, anya mm -hmm. um her role in it what what were you trying to get to what did you want her character to mean in this even though we saw that she was a little bit jealous and but she still liked her friend well what was the role of um anya in this film well um her role is it's kind of like how far can you go but at the same time she, she yeah she was jealous but at the same time she tried to figure it out before like uh, pushing her friend to marry someone who is abusing a pregnant woman. Uh, she was trying to make sure that like she asked, do you love her? Because she, in her head, she was like, okay, I need to at least in my head to make it that excuse for me to, to, to do that. She wasn't, I think it's like all the people, they're not really super evil. They, in their head, they try, they, they, trying to make sense of what they're doing. That's the same with Anya. She's trying to like, okay, he loves her and she loves him. That wouldn't be a big deal that he hit her a few times, even though it is a big deal. <laughs> so, I yeah. Asked, well, good. Yeah, it's good to show that, um, you know, that other voice there because I felt that Anya was playing the role of the viewers. We were like, you know, <laughs> pretending to be Anya in here. Well, was yeah. that your attempt for the viewers to really connect with Anya to help, you know, decide? Yeah, and at the end, I had a different ending that where she walks away and he tells her where the bag is. Uh, but I decided to leave her with just like sitting and taking, like sinking everything in. Like, is she gonna take the bag? Is she not gonna take the... So the um, the viewers will, will feel for her since I yeah made the Anya like viewer character, yeah. Right. Yes, you you did uh, that 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 really um, worked out. We can really um, identify with Anya. Um, in terms of when you screened this film, what has the reception been? What have um, people said about the film? Um. Well. I only screened it in my university. I didn't screen it anywhere else because of the pandemic. So, but in my universe, well, first of all, I always, I don't know, have this thing that I can't watch my own films when they're done. I always walk away from the theaters. I don't know, I, there's actors who can't see themselves on screen. I can't see my films on screen. I, I get anxiety. So, but when I come back, everyone's like, oh my God, it's amazing, we loved it. So it was always positive. And people say, yeah, it's actually interesting that it was two, like he, he beat, like he hit her two times, which is like, it's a, like interesting middle. So it's not once, it, it, it can happen more, but it's not like three times, which is like a pattern. Uh, yeah, that's, I, I was having this in my mind when I was writing and I, I, I'm glad that when people were watching, they picked up on it. It was nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, good. I'm glad we received um, <clears throat> a good reception um, of the film. I just like to remind everyone, we are talking with the director, um, uh, Daya Belahan, the director of um, The Bride Piece. If you'd like to ask questions, please put them in the Q&A portal and we'll get to them as time allows. We're about halfway through our conversation. Um, yes, in terms of your writing this, um, how much did you do a lot of research or did this just come about just from, you know, just living and experiencing different things and reading different things? How much research did you do and write in terms of creating this project? Yeah, I it's mostly from reading, but I also kind of invited myself to a lot of Russian weddings. 
because I, I haven't been to a lot of Russian weddings prior to that. And I was like, like forcing myself on people who's, who's doing wedding, like, can I come? I'm writing a script. I want to see how the real weddings, like Russian traditional weddings look like. So yeah, I was going to a lot of weddings to, to write about the, the bride prize ceremony, how they, the groom pays for the answering this question that pays for every wrong answer. <laughs> that that's that's interesting so when you went to these weddings um i guess to do your research in a sense um <laughs> yeah. were you taking notes or did you just participate in the wedding and then when you got home you wrote down some notes how did that process work yeah i was at the weddings so i was like having a good time but i was like in my head I was like okay don't forget to make note when you come home don't forget to, yeah don't come home and just like write my notes really fast about all the like funny like interesting like small details that i found and i don't know i hope they work well <laughs> maybe i, I want okay. to work weddings i don't know I well, it's good. I mean, it's, it's fun doing research um, for films, especially if it's something that you enjoy. So you seem like you enjoy going to weddings. <laughs> um, we do have one question that's come in, and it is, um, do you think um, Christina would have married Andre if she wasn't pregnant? Hmm. I was actually like thinking about this question when I was writing. And um think she would have just because of this society norms in Russia that it's people look kind of down on you like I'm 25 um, and people already know everyone's like why are you not married why are you not married I was like I want to leave for myself so I think that pressure would have forced her to marry him yeah I, I think so because she she is the person who kind of okay easy. all right yeah i i see okay we have another question they're interested in relationships is um <clears throat> um do you tell us of christina and really wanted to marry i don't know did that come through clear no, I, I didn't oh, hear the question. Okay, so. um, do you think that Anya was jealous of Christina and wanted to marry Andre? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I got that a lot. People was thinking that there is like a little secret affair between um, Anya and Andre, but no, the, she was she, she didn't actually really like Andre. She Anya thought of like thinks of him as like this weird guy lazy guy so she was jealous of anya of, of her presence of like what she how easy she gets everything without even trying and uh, anya or christina and anya was jealous that she had to work so hard and couldn't get that and for christina it was like Phew. but not 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 for andre no <laughs> she, she wasn't jealous of andre okay <laughs> I, I didn't think so okay um uh, interesting. Another question we have coming in is: um, uh, Was Andre, or was Andre really that obnoxious? Are a lot of men in Russia really obnoxious like he is? <laughs> I guess they feel like he's a jerk. <laughs> yeah, Russian men are are not the best. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm not a fan, <laughs> but <laughs> the, like everywhere else in the world, there is a nice guys, nice girls, bad guys, bad girls. It's, it's, it's always like a lot of different types of people <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> that, that is true, that is true. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, keep the questions coming. Only screen the film like once at your as a school project, or um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it was my thesis film in my university. And which university was that? Uh, New York Film Academy. Okay, the Film Academy. 
All right, uh, great. And uh, what are your plans to, uh, once the pandemic ends, what are your plans for screening this film? Are you planning it to put it in film festivals, um, take it back to, you know, screening in Moscow? Or? Yeah, after pandemic is over, I'm gonna go continue with film festivals. And I'm actually started to write a feature from this film, like what happens after this wedding. <laughs> Oh, good, good. I'm, I will be interested in seeing that. Do you plan on using the same cast? Yeah, as I said, I love them. They are amazing. I, I made so many films, but I think they're my favorite actors. They're awesome. I love them. Great. Now, you say you screened it at your university, um, but did your cast see the film at all? Did you share a link with them? Did they see it? Yeah, I, I shared the link with them. They they keep asking me to screen it at the like, uh, theater. For them and I was like okay when I come when I come and then I came here and all the like theaters film theaters were shut down I was like I'm sorry here's the link where you can all watch it I guess alone but when it's all over I'll have like nice I'll rent a nice little film theater and I'll screen for all my cast and my crew because the crew was amazing as well I I had such a great crew well that's that's good that that makes that makes a big difference when you have a a great crew. Now, spending time in America, in New York, um, at the Film Academy and in Moscow, what are some of the differences you've seen between, um, I guess, living in the United States and living in Moscow? What are some of the biggest differences? Mm. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, our like public transport is better, but I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, did, did you enjoy living in, in New York? I lived in one year in New York and then two, three years in Los Angeles. On oh, LA, okay, in the US, okay. All right, well, great. Uh, yeah, so, um, you know, you had the experience of two, uh, three major cities worldwide, New York, LA, and Moscow. So that's really fortunate uh, that you had that. Um, now, last couple of minutes uh, left, um, the film overall, uh, when you have screenings coming up and when people see the film, what message do you want to send with this film? What do you want people to get out of um, watching your film? I think, I don't know, it, it's such a like broad question because there's so many things I want people to take from, from it. But I think the biggest one is, how many times do I say society, but don't uh, follow the rules of the society. Don't do what this, like, the society tells you to, to get married early, to get married to, to the abuser, to, have confidence to go against the rules and norms and yeah don't not marry someone who is abusing and paying someone to uh, force you to marry him i guess that okay that that's good to know that 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 is good to know we have one last question it's not a question it's actually a comment on uh, this person says i really enjoyed your film I think you should consider showing this film at uh, women's shelters to help them have conversations about um, domestic violence. So um, someone wrote that in. So I guess that's thank a good you. point. Yeah, that, that's actually a great idea. Thank you. Yeah. So, well, thank you to the person for that um, comment. Yeah, so yeah, this is a type of film that can spark a lot of conversation. And, um, and I really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to um, join us um, today for this um, conversation. Um, besides working on a feature for this film, are you doing anything else um, um, film related right now that we can look to see in it for in the future? Um. Right now, I'm mostly behind the scenes on, of the film production. So you probably won't see me in any credits. I'm doing marketing right now because of the pandemic. But when the pandemic is over and people will start investing in more films because now everyone is scared, even in Russia, that they'll shut everything down. So right now, I'm more like behind the scenes of the film industry. Well 
Well, that's good. That that's that's good that you're still able to um, do something behind the scenes. Well, um, Daya, well, congratulations on your um, success with this film. I wish you all the best. And um, one thing I, I failed to mention in the beginning is that um, some students that are watching, some of them are English speaking students that are studying Russian. So um, if you could, can you say a, a special goodbye to uh, in Russian to the students that uh, are taking Russian? <laughs> Окей. Okay. Um, спасибо всем, кто посмотрел мой фильм. Я надеюсь, он вам очень понравился. До свидания. Хорошего вам дня. Okay. Well, thank you. I, I sure they appreciate that uh, as, as well. Oh, well, thanks again so much for joining us. I wish you all the best. And uh, I like to and I'd like to thank you, our audience, for joining us for this important and invigorating conversation. For more information about the upcoming 45th Cleveland International Film Festival, please continue to follow SIF on social media or visit clevelandfilm.org. I'm Eric Seiler. Thank you. <laughs>